The bog as subject became central to my work from 2009 onwards and had its beginnings from the snow-clad landscape of La Rousse, France, over Christmas and New Year 2008. Perhaps it's the child in me, but the snow lifted our spirits. The snow depicts and articulates the shapes and patterns of the landscape, reduces it to a simplified order of dark light, shape and form. In the sublime soft light and reflected light and cast shadows that only snow can create, everything seemed as if it were singing from the same hymn sheet. One evening, before returning back to our house, I stayed a while. I was struck by the dynamics of three or four distant matchstick figures making their way through the vast white blanket of snow. There was an absolute silence in the air. Nothing seemed to move, not even the figures. The dynamics of that vision was so memorable, so significant and penetrating, I reflected upon Bruegel's Hunters in the Snow and many of the Dutch painters. Back home, more specifically in the Midlands, on Port Arlington Bog, I recalled a similar experience of wonderment with silence and space. It was a celestial union. I was struck by the stillness of the vast plain disappearing into the distant horizon. It was a very real sense of oneness. I felt tiny, like those figures plodding their way through the snow-clad landscape of La Rousse just only a month earlier. It was the same dynamics, the same magic. The painting Before My Father's Father, Fado Fado, an evocation marked this period of time. I can only say that one has to slow down, to tally a while, and enjoy in the silence to experience that kind of oneness that I speak about. Over time, the work has become more the interplay of compositional structures and visual musicality, more abstract in form, though I may revert back to the figurative from time to time. Every piece of work is a new challenge, an adventure into the sometimes unknown. It is the response to an inner experience. John Berger once said, Before his art, the spectator's body remembers his own inner experience. And remembering the words of the late uh, Sligo painter Sean McSweeney, he said, First you walk the land and then you paint. <laughs>